Getting pretty close there, Big B. Oh, yeah. We're rumbling, man. We're ready to rock. Probably a few more people signing in by the sounds of it, jumping in. Cool. As we hack our way through this, but we'll do our best. Yeah. Uh, I know the few that have signed in already, thank you. Appreciate that. There's probably a few more coming yet. Um, we're going to do our very best as we could. Obviously, couldn't be at Rice Creek. What can we do? Well, we're going to do our best uh, right here from home base. We're all working feverishly, actually trying to open tomorrow. Track the hatches, so we're all pretty excited of that. We're getting done with uh, not seeing people. So lake is open, so people are coming up. We're excited. Um, Brandon Bow here with Cooper, straight from the factory. Thank you for taking time to join us. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you guys having me. Uh, we've got plenty of talk talk about uh, Cooper, the rifle, the company. Um, I know, obviously, we had to shut down. What uh, where's Cooper Rifle at? Were they able to work through this? Did you were able to keep guys on? Yeah, we, we worked through it pretty good at the beginning. Um, then what we decided to do was obviously with things in Seattle kind of taken off in the Pacific Northwest. You know, we're really not too far from that area. So what we did was we just shut down for two and a half weeks, um, made sure that everybody was feeling good, checked in with everybody, um, you know, texting, emailing back and forth, just checking in with guys. Uh, everybody was feeling good and nobody, you know, everybody was healthy after two and a half weeks. So we opened up the shop doors again and, and we're rocking and rolling like normal. Perfect. So ship times will be pretty, pretty normal for you guys this year. Yep. That's good to hear. There's a few behind kind of across the board. Uh, I've noticed most of our American made stuff, everybody's right on track. So we're excited about that. Being able to have product this year will be kind of a dance, but we're excited about that. Um, Cooper themselves, man, 30 years of building rifles, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Almost 25 series of rifles to choose from, more than 70 calibers to play with. Uh, that's that's amazing in and of itself. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some models to talk about, but just off the top, Brandon, what makes Cooper's actions, stocks, and barrels different? How do you guys stand out from the rest of the crowd? The biggest thing is everything. Um, it's just it's just the attention to detail. Um, the specs that we work in, as far as tolerances go, they're very tight. Um, these things that in parts that we use, they, they aren't mass produced. You know, that's the thing. And that's how we're able to maintain tight tolerances is every single barreled action. I mean, those pieces are married together. Um, you can't take one barrel and swap it and put it on another action. I mean, everything is married and custom fit for that individual gun. And that goes with the stock bolt handles. I mean, every single piece of these guns is once you start taking them apart, you're actually going to notice, you know, you take take the barrel off, you take the stock off, bottom metal. All this stuff is serialized, and it matches the serial number that's on that receiver, because these parts travel together around the shop. So that because that ensures us to get, you know, a perfect fit on the rifle, which then you know gets us that accuracy that we expect out of all of our rifles. Duly noted. I got or I had a customer get himself in a little situation with his bottom metal in his magazine. Yep. Somehow he managed to get a pin knocked out of there in one fashion or another and i attempted to rob peter to pay paul off the same rifle <laughs> forget about it uh, the bottom metal is fitted so tightly to the stock you can't just go sneaking it uh, i called cooper they answered in two rings uh your customer service agent had a, a shipping number for me in about eight minutes had the rifle back his hinge plate that he made the mistake on back in place and back with customer in just a little less than six days yeah yeah, it's one of those things. It's it's bittersweet because yeah, everything fits perfectly. But when something goes wrong, it's like one of those things where unfortunately we can't sh just ship you apart and say, hey, you know, fix it. You know, you can't just go online and buy it. But you know, once you once you send the rifle into us, we get it right, and it's going to work flawlessly every time after that. Yeah, it's uh, well, there's no better to it. Your customer service uh, system handled it so well that it was seamless. Right. The customer rifle back so fast and made my head spin. It was a really wow. fantastic experience for, for both me and the customer. So good. I'm uh, happy to get taken care of. Man, thanks. Thanks to all the hard workers down there at Cooper for making things like that happen. Well, let's jump right in. Now, I've only got a few to play with, mm -hmm. uh, so we can rip through those. I know a couple of my favorites uh, that you guys kick out. I love the classic because I got a soft spot for the walnut. Oh, yeah. For sure. Uh, and, of course, the Excalibur. I'm hard on things. There's places I don't take my walnut rifles. Mm -hmm. That would be a great option. Uh, jump into any of the features these guys listing tonight should know about. Uh, we can start with the classic if you like and work your way down. Sure. Yeah, let's go ahead with the classic just because that's what it is. I mean, it's a classic rifle. You, uh, you know, standard double A plus, actually it's double A select walnut that comes standard on that gun. I noticed that buttstock. I mean, that's a really strong piece of wood on that rifle. Um, that, there's a lot of character in that buttstock. I like that. 
Uh, and basically, you know, you can treat the classic and the Excalibur as the same rifle. The, the shape of the stock is the same. The barreled action is the same. Uh, the only thing that's different is one is wood and one is synthetic. That, that's it. They're, they're essentially the same rifle. Um, obviously, material change. Yeah, the wood rifle is going to weigh a little bit more, but it's got a little bit more personality to it versus, you know, like you said before, that Excalibur, you're not going to feel bad about beating that thing through the woods and getting scratched and all that stuff. In and out of ladder stands where we know we get get things a little beat up. That's right. But um, yeah, what I, what I really love about that Excalibur, especially in a short action cartridge like a 6.5 Creedmoor or a 308, is that gun is so light. I mean, it only weighs six and a half pounds, and it's just it's super handy. Anybody can handle it. It's a great rifle for women and for younger, you know, younger, smaller frame people. It's really a, a rifle that's nice to carry around, and there's not a ton of recoil with it. Right. Or anybody just getting sick and tired of lugging around dad's nine pound behemoth. Yeah, that's right. One thing, one thing I've noticed that I only see in a few other rifle manufacturers, but you guys have got a little different bolt and bolt face mm -hmm. in your gun. There are going to be some distinct advantages to this over maybe a two lug. Right. You want to expand on that a little bit? Basically, the three lug bolt, you're just going to get a more positive lockup when you, you know, when you close that bolt. And the other thing too is you've got a you've got a shorter bolt throw, so that's going to allow you to rack that bolt a little bit faster, but also you don't have to worry about bumping into your scope with the bolt handle. Absolutely, is that sixty? It's a sixty degree throw. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. The other thing that all of these Coopers, uh, the detachable mags, you guys build these in-house? We do, yeah, they're all custom fit and built for each rifle. You can you can tell when you take them in and out. That's for sure. Uh, I do have a few more. Um, I had a long range earlier today. Okay. <laughs> I don't anymore. Good. Yeah, somebody, somebody fell in love with the phone and got it. Um, the 52 laminates, yeah, we've done, we've done well with that. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we're, same action, same. Yep, same barreled action as the classic and the Excalibur. Um, except the exception is it's stainless steel. You got the spiral fluted through, you know, spiral fluted bolt body. And again, you know, this this rifle here was the base of the 1995 rifle that we did with you guys. Uh, and that's actually the gun fair special, guys. Is we took this rifle here with the laminate stock. And we painted it and Cerakoted it. Um, so basically, it's going to look, you know, just like any one of our other rifles here. I mean, this has got the green camo on it, but Reeds has got them in the, you know, black with gray webbing, uh, OD green with black webbing, uh, just a bunch of different colors and calibers. Um, you know, 300 Win Mag, 7 Mag, 280 Ackley, 6.5, 284, and 264 Win Mag. And I think we've got some 6.5 Creedmoors as well. But the, you know, the laminate sporter rifle is really the most valuable gun that we build because your barreled action is the same. It's all custom built, you know, and it's got that real good positive lockup, fit and finish is flawless. But because we're using a laminate material that brings our costs down yep. and we pass that cost on to the customer and provide essentially a custom rifle for, you know, 1900 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. Yep, fantastic. And uh, no, no cut in quality, no cut in action. Right it's all the same that's going into the rest of the rifles with the same accuracy guarantees. Yep. Uh, and we did, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven or eight calibers that should be available immediately to ship. Yep. Uh, the 1995 is to your door. So give us a call. The only way to get this deal is to give us a call. Uh, you're not going to see these on my website or Gunbroker or any of those other fun spots. This is a call in race Creek special only on those. Yep. But I do, I have uh, at least a half a dozen calibers to choose from and a few extras that just landed. Thank mm -hmm. you for getting us to those. Yeah. Well, we went through that pretty quick, Brandon. Um, you know, you've got backcountries, timber lines, uh, some more models you would want to expand on. Well, we've got, yeah. got some listeners. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'll go over. I mean, it's this rifle I've got right here. This is, this is our pride and joy as far as synthetic stock rifles goes. Um, you know, this is our model 92 backcountry. This one is in, this one's in 270, but this one's available in, plethora of cartridges, just like everything else that we do. Uh, what's most popular for us is the 300 Win Mag, 7 Rem Mag, 280 Ackley. Um, now the 6.5 PRC, we're getting a ton of interest in that, in this mountain rifle. Right? 
this gun only weighs five and three quarter pounds. So it weighs five and three quarter pounds. You get this in a 6.5 PRC and it's just, it's a pleasure to carry and it's a pleasure to shoot. Um, you put the right scope on here and you can keep this whole thing at right, right around seven pounds and you don't have to sacrifice optics to get there either. You put a Swarovski Z5 on here that weighs 15 ounces and you've got yourself one heck of a hunting package that's really lightweight and will do what you need it to do. Uh, did you, you had one set up like that at Race Creek last year. Yeah, we, I, I bring one every year uh, just because yep. and, uh, usually it's either a 7 mag or a 300 wind mag. And the reason I do that, I bring a, a heavier magnum cartridge like that in this lightweight gun is to prove the concept. You know, everybody thinks that this five and three quarter pound rifle is just going to knock your teeth out and rock your world when you shoot it. But because we put that spiral fluted muzzle brake on there like this, in the design and the fill material, the butt stock, it actually acts as a shock absorber. And it feels, it feels like a 270. And when it's in 300 wind mag or seven mag, it feels like a 270 without, you know, without a break on it. Well, that makes it kind of the best of both worlds at that point. It does, yeah. I mean, you know, the price point goes up a little bit. You're looking at, you know, MSRP on the rifles, 32.95. But I mean, this thing weighs nothing. You can carry this thing forever, pack it up and down the mountains. Um, you know, those guys, you know, sheep hunting, sheep hunting this is this is the go-to rifle for sheep hunters right here uh and correct me if i'm wrong but I, I believe this is the lightest magnum rifle on retail shelves the only one that might come close maybe in the kimber lineup but uh, they would they would be probably the same weight mm -hmm. that you might have them by an ounce right um they don't shoulder the same right <laughs> right yeah. not, the weight might be similar but the rifles themselves when you feel them get on the bench with them Two, two very different planets. Right, and, and that, that's exactly right. The other nice thing too is we're providing this rifle, again, as light as it is, and we're not giving up any barrel length either. We're still putting a 24 inch barrel on these and that, that doesn't include the muzzle brake. So that's 24 inches plus the muzzle brake. So you're not giving up any velocity in those Magnum cartridges. Absolutely, there's a few, a few of the lighting up and shorting barrels, you're losing a little bit yep. on the back end. Um, I know I, I would be remiss if I didn't bring up your muzzle loader. Oh yeah. I, I, might, I might be a fan of that program. Um, what an amazing machine. Uh, break into that for a minute if you would. Muzzle loader, basically what we did is we just took a traditional inline design and we just refined it. I mean, we just used tighter machining tolerances, better barrels, better stocks, and we just made it as, as good as we could make any of our rifles. Um, the things, I mean, I, I take customers out. We do demo shoots with them, obviously out at Rice Creek, among other places. And I've got guys that are ringing an eight inch gong at 400 yards with a muzzle loader. And some of these guys have never even shot at that distance with a center fire. And all of a sudden they're doing it with a muzzle loader. And guys get pretty jacked up and excited about that. Minnesota has just in the last few years released that, that whole scope thing. So scopes for everybody. It's definitely changed the game. I know I've got at least one Grand Rapids customer with your synthetic muzzle loader. Uh, and another one from North of Grand Rapids with the walnut one. Yep. Uh, those guys hunted them last year with great success, a lot of excitement. How is your ignition system on that? It's a 209. It's, yep. 209 ignition system. Basically what, what's happening is your primer is going to go against the bolt face like this, and it's going to lock up into the gun. You know, you're going to put your 209 right here, and it just locks up right against that breech plug, and and you're ready to go. I mean, you're not exposed to the elements at all. It's almost waterproof. Um, and it's just, it's an extremely reliable system. That's worked really well for us. Uh, I tell guys exclusively, Black Horn 209 is the only powder to run. It's the cleanest, most efficient burning powder. And we've just had, you know, we've had incredible luck with it. Fantastic. We'll hope uh, if you guys want a muzzleloader built, want to order one, give us a call here at Reeds. Uh, we can definitely get you set up on that. There does get to be a little confusion. I know I've got it figured out when we go back and forth between models 52s and 54s. Am I wrong in saying that that's actually the caliber length or the length of the action that you want to play with? Yeah, so the only thing, and that's been a thing basically okay. since the inception of the company is model number. What does model number mean? Well, I got a model 22 or I've got a model 52. The only thing your model number determines is the, is the action. Yeah, it's, that's it. That's all it is. So, you know, your model 52, that's a long action repeater. And, and that includes magnums too. So that's basically from 240 Weatherby all the way up to 33 Nosler and just about everything you can think of in between. There's a few exceptions to that rule. You know, we don't do 375 H&H. &H. Um, we don't do 
300 H and H, 416 Remington Magnum. We don't do any of the any of the real big stuff, but basically, you know, 300 Win Mag, 7 Mag, 28 Nosler, all the real popular Western cartridges, and then um, real popular hunting cartridges, basically around the world, are what we're offering. Uh, model 54 is just the short action version of the 52. So it's a repeating action, 6.5 Creedmoor, 308, 260 Remington, 708, 2250. And then you get into the model 21, which is a single shot 223 family. So that's going to be like your 204 Ruger's 17 Remington, 223 Remington, 223 Remington Ackley improved. Um, and then there's the 51. The 51 is just the repeating version of the 21. And then the 22 is the single shot version of the model 52. So that's uh, all. That's all I noticed that. on the website that the setup is, is really easy, guys. If you want to click on Excalibur, it will boil off basic uh, or an Excalibur and you want a 30 out six. If, if it's not on the cartridge list, they don't build it in that. Mm -hmm. And there's very few limitations. Again, I just glanced at it quick. There's almost 70 calibers to choose from. Yeah, and that's 70 that, different series. That's, that's 70 that we have published. Um, we've got, we've got more. I mean, there are other reamers. You know, we do a seven by 64 millimeter Brennecke. Um, we do six by 45. We do all kinds of weird stuff. Um, yeah, and we you know we do different versions of the you know six millimeter bench rest. We do six millimeter. Two, two different, the two different versions of that, the Remington and the Norma. So there's just a whole bunch of different stuff. And if you guys, if there's ever anything on the website and you don't see it, just give us a call. Um, it's one of those things where we can go back in the shop, find out if we've got reamers for it. Chances are most likely that, yeah, we do. And we can probably build you the rifle. Yep, really noted. So if you're on there uh, kicking around, you call, call myself, call Cooper. Yep. We can get a build going, get a time frame. Um, the special orders and special builds uh, Reeds will offer will offer the, a Rice Creek discount as if you were standing in front of Brandon ready to order. Um, we're probably going to run that until May 15th, considering we're, how far behind we are with the, with the Zoom video. So uh, give us a shout on that and definitely give us a shout on, on the new ones that we have all painted up. 1995 free shipping. Yeah. Otherwise. I'm just going to see if there's anybody punching in any questions, not just yet. What did I miss, Brandon? I feel like we've missed something. Um, we could start, we could go over like a, just a kind of a brief history of the company. Um, you know, we started, we started building rifles 30 years ago. Uh, a gentleman named Dan Cooper left Kimber of Oregon at the time, him and a couple guys left, yeah, Kimber and decided, you know, we want to kind of go do our own thing and just let's get, let's start building the rifles the way we want to build rifles. And the whole idea of the company was to let's build the most accurate, customizable firearms that we can at a good, you know, honest price. Let's, let's try to do that. And that was what Dan Cooper's mission was. And, um, you know, it's just weird to see how we've transformed so much over the last few years, because it was exclusively single shot wood guns for probably first 15, 20, probably 20 years that we were in business. And now those guns, we still love to build them. We still build them very well. We don't build nearly as many. You know, now it's, this stuff is probably 75 plus percent of our business are ultra light synthetic stocked Magnum rifles. And it all evolved from single shot, you know, 22s, uh, you know, smaller rim fires, small, small bore varmint cartridges. That's what we've always done. We're still really, really good at it. We love building them, but they're just a small part of our business now today. Uh, and it's just, like I said, it's just weird to see where we've, how quickly we've changed, you know, over the last, just the last 10 years. I mean, we started building, we built our first repeating rifle probably 10, 15 years ago, you know, and that's, that's just crazy to think about. And especially now that we've got a rifle like this with this much technology in it, and it just it changed. It's amazing how quick that change, that does change. Again, we are doing our, going like heck here to make sure that we're open on Friday uh, to get a true appreciation for what these guys have done with the rifles. Come on down, uh, just operating the bull running the magazine in and out, you can tell immediately that this whole thing was hand fit from top to bottom and definitely not priced as, as though. Yeah. That's for sure. Yep. All right, guys. So for anybody listening, give us a call. Uh, the Rice Creek Cooper deals are only available on phone. So call in and let us know. Uh, if you want to build something, price something else, call us with that too. We can walk you through the build. If we get hung, Brandon's always got our back uh, to get us through any builds that might get weird. 
and Cooper always makes it happen for us. We look, uh, look forward to 21 race streak where we'll make up for uh, this year. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll do our best for sure. The other nice thing too is guys, keep in mind, you know, Reed's got all these guns in stock, you know, and ton of calibers, which is always great. Uh, and especially the real popular stuff. The key is you don't have to wait for one of these guns. Uh, that's one of the drawbacks to ordering one of our rifles is you're, you're usually looking at if, if it's not in stock, you're looking at usually a minimum of an eight to 12 month build time, even on something as popular and simple as this model 92 backcountry in uh, 270. You know, if, if it's not around, you're going to have to wait. And that's just because of the way we manufacture these guns. It's, it's not an efficient process, <laughs> which is a double-edged sword. You know, it's one of those things where we don't want to give up quality, um, but it's nice to get guns out the door a little bit faster sometimes, but it's just not one of those things we're willing to sacrifice if we have to sacrifice quality to do it. Um, another thing too is, guys, keep in mind, you know, we run an inventory list as well. And if you see a rifle on our inventory list, give Reeds a call. All they have to do is give me a shout. I'll ship the rifle to them and we'll get them out the door. One nice thing is right now, we've got a ton of these in stock right now. This is our model 52 open country long range. This one happens to be a 300 wind mag, um, but we've got them in 280 Ackley, uh, 6.5, 284, 28 Nosler, seven mag, uh, and a few other cartridges as well. We've probably got 25 or 30 of these rifles in stock right now. And they're very popular. You know, you've got a 26 inch stainless steel, a little bit heavier contour barrel. It's threaded with a muzzle brake, which will reduce your recoil by, you know, about 40%. And you can put a suppressor on there or you can run it with a muzzle brake, but you know, you got the nice spiral fluted bolt on there, Picatinny rail. This thing's ready to rock for those long range, whether you're just a long range target shooter or a long range hunter, this is the gun to go with right here. And all the hot calibers by the sounds of it. Yeah, yeah, we've got all the hot cartridges. Every, Anything, you know, that's by far what we sell the most of when, when a guy orders this rifle, it's most likely going to be either a 300 wind mag or a 7 mag or a 28 Nosler. And yep. that's what we got in stock right now. That's fantastic. Well, we yep. look forward to that. All right, guys, remember, give us a call for the Rice Creek deals. Uh, between Brandon and I, we'll get taken care of, get a rifle in the mail as fast as possible. And we're opening. Come on down. Well, the ice is off finally. We're just in time for water temperatures to get good next weekend. Come on up, catch a walleye. Let's play with some troopers. Brandon, anything else we need? I don't think so. I think we're ready to go. All right. Give us, hit, hit us on the 800 number if you guys have any questions. Appreciate everybody's time and patience through all this business. So thank you. Thank you, guys.